About a year ago, I purchased two EG4 Life Power 4 batteries. Um, they work great, but the state of charge slowly seems to drift out of sync between the two batteries. It seems to be a fairly common problem. I'll show you how I fixed it in this video. On the top battery, there's three lights, but on the bottom battery, you can see four lights on. Let's take a closer look at this in software. Okay, this is Solar Assistant. It's a third party program, uh, pulls down information from your inverter and from the batteries. Um, then we'll go over to the battery page, looking at the two batteries. And in the first battery, it's about 82%. And the other uh, pack number two is at 100%. And the cell voltages here, though, are within a few thousandths of each other. Uh, average is the same and the lowest is the same. Okay, and I recorded this about a month and a half ago, so let's go to right now. Okay, this is BMS Tools from EG4, uh, actually available on Mac now. Um, so anyway, the the cells are all running about 3.33, and the difference between the highest and the lowest is one one-thousandth of a volt. Okay, and this is the second battery, and... Um, the cells are almost identical, 3.33. Um, the difference between the high and the low cell is two one thousandths of a volt. So the, the cells are almost identical in the two batteries. Okay, but pack number two, battery number two, state of charge is saying 99.2. Uh, battery one is reading uh, 65%. Okay, so I believe that the problem is that the BMSs just get out of whack uh, and they don't show the accurate state of charge. Now, uh, there's a number of things on the forums that show you how to fix this um, or suggest how to fix it. Uh, none of these worked for me. Possibly they might work for you. Now, the first one is uh, pressing the reset button. However, according to EG4, the reset button just resets any alarms that have gone off. So I don't think it's going to reset the state of charge, and it certainly didn't work for me. Uh, the other method is to run the batteries down to like less than 20 percent and charge them up full i did that a number of times and i was still out of sync so i kept looking around on the forums and here's what i found um, that actually does work at least for me it might not work on all cases okay we're going to upgrade the firmware um, that's optional but i'd recommend it we go to batteries at uh, eg4 electronics um, find the life power for batteries and then we go down that page go to downloads and you'll see the latest firmware update right there as well as a BMS test for Windows and Mac and you just get the one for your operating system okay and after you download it you just open it up and on the configure page here uh, you have to be on the right port and you're looking for a serial port, at least on the Mac. I'm not sure about on PC. If you don't see a serial port in the list, you hit refresh here. Um, after you've, you've selected the serial port, you hit connect. And down at the bottom, you can see we've opened successfully. Okay, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here um, because uh, BMS test comes with some pretty good written instructions in EG4. also has some pretty good videos on how to do this. But I'm under the last tab, and we are, right now I'm upgrading my first battery. So the device address over here is zero, and that's the same as the dip switches on the front of the battery. Um, anyway, so we just finished that, so I'm going to work on my second battery. And that's, um, its address is one. And then what you have to do is get boot information. And you're looking for this hardware version number right here, 0207 in this case, because when you load the program, there's two choices there, and you want to make sure you get the right one, the one that has 0207 in it. So there we go. We up that, and simply just hit upgrade start. And, okay, I'm going to fast forward through this. Okay, so the upgrade is successful, and both of the batteries uh, have new firmware in them. Okay, this is the battery info page, and this is pulling the same information that Solar Assistant was. It's just more granular. You get every cell and all the voltages and all. But basically, 
Uh, same thing as before. Uh, both of the batteries, in my case anyway, there's no bad cells. All of the cells are very, very close to each other within two thousandths of a uh, volt. Um, it's just that the BMS is out of calibration. Okay, and the solution is very easy. We're just going to charge at a higher voltage than normal. Uh, we're going to charge at 58.4 volts. And this is right from the manual for the battery, um, 56.2 volts, and that's what I've been charging at. Okay, and we're just going to raise it up temporarily to 58.4 volts. Okay, so we have to be able to charge by voltages and not by uh, percentages. So in the grow watt, I have to go to setting number five and change that to user mode. And that allows me to set the charging voltage. The charging voltage is set under uh, setting number 19. It's bulk charging voltage. It could also be absorption uh, voltage on some chargers. So we're going to go in and I'm actually going to go from the end of the menu backwards because it's faster to do it that way. And here we are on setting number 19. So instead of it being 56.2, we're just going to jump it up and change this to 58.4 and store that. Okay, and my second array of solar panels, I actually run off of a uh, Victron smart charger. So we're going to go into the app for that on the phone. Let me open that up. And I'm going to go into the battery settings. And we're going to set the absorption voltage on this up to 58.4. And that's done. Okay, so uh, my batteries are actually almost charged. I'm not sure if that's necessary for this, or you could do it from your batteries being uh, discharged more. Um, it probably doesn't make any difference, but I haven't tried it both ways. So right after I started this charge, um, something came up that I had to take care of. Um, so about an hour later, the two batteries are now in sync again. The state of charge on both of them says 100.2. So my BMSs are back in sync. So after you do this charge one time uh, at the higher voltage, you just need to set your uh, charging voltages back to your normal percentages. So we're going to go into the grow watt and go back to setting 19. And we're going to drop that back down to 56.2. And store that. And I'm also going to go into the Victron charger and go up here to my battery settings and change my absorption voltage back to its normal 56.2. That's all there is to it. Okay, let's just review. Um, first thing you do is go to EG4's website, download BMS test, and you want to make sure your battery doesn't have any bad cells, anything that's way out of uh, line with the other uh, cell voltages. That's a different problem, and this is not going to solve it. Optionally, you can also upgrade your firmware. I would recommend doing that because it's added a lot of new features. Then you just set the bulk or the absorption charging voltage to 58.4 and charge the batteries. When you're done, you just want to set your charging voltage back to its normal 56.2. Okay, I hope this helped some people. Um, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.